So I'm joined by Aaron Wildstow from Doncaster Cables to make a video on how to strip Earthshore cables, which could be retitled how to strip twin and earth cables. So we've got some 2.5 millimeter squared Earthshore cable here, and your preferred method is to use these. So will you demonstrate how easy it is to use the twin and earth strippers? Yeah, I really like these strippers. Straight through the body of them, just gentle squeeze, and obviously it's full of absolute chalk, so you should just pull straight off. Oh, you can tell it's a Doncaster cable by the amount of French chalk. And look at that, our protective conductor is also identified and you can see how small it is. We know it's a smaller conductor than this. These are 2.5 for our line and neutral and our protective conductor is 1.5 millimeters squared. Wow, that is uh, incredibly tight there with the identifier. Do you want to strip them for me, Aaron? Yeah, that's why I like this little tool because then we can just go in. Just strip them off. Strip one at them a time. off. Yeah, okay. And just take that one off for you as we pull that. Look at that. So that is beautiful. Okay, that's the preferred method probably, but these only go up to 2.5 millimeter squared cable. So we need some other techniques in order to strip them. My preferred technique used to be, not to use the tools necessarily, just to split down the middle and try and pull away from that position. So I take my side cutters and I go straight down the center, obviously now, and then I would try and pull the actual two live conductors away from the protective conductor. So I would do that. So you got a little split and the longer you go, the easier it becomes. But that seems a little bit tougher than I remember, Aaron. Why is that a little bit harder? Because I should really just split that down with ease. It is, because we've got now a completely different compound. So you might remember we shrunk the sizes down. We have to increase the mechanical properties of the compound so that it still gives the same amount of protection. So it's earth tech compound on there, not normal twin and earth compound. Ah, right, so there's a subtle difference there. So when we're stripping it, so if, you, if you're thinking, oh, this is really tough, I was taught to just pull these. The reason I didn't like to pull the protective conductor in this style of cable was, it was the smallest conductor in there and you're stressing the conductor the most. So we probably then have to go to what most people would have been taught in those colleges, etc., was to just pull the protective conductor. So I'm just gonna pull that down and we can see then, we can obviously use that conventional method in order to remove our outer PVC. Okay, so there we are. So that's it come down, no issues whatsoever. We think that method works for us, but you managed to do it actually in front of me where you got it to fail, didn't you? Yeah, so the bit we are forgetting on here is this now has material on it and it therefore has a bending radius. So when I strip it, I pull it right back on itself, almost 180 degrees. Okay. And then I can split the green yellow. Okay. Sometimes, not yeah. all time. Yeah, so this then starts to have a chance of failing. We haven't done it this time, but that's what we found. We did this in a few trials, didn't we? That, that bending it over. Now I would say, I don't think many electricians are gonna have the opportunity first of all to have that much space there in a consumer unit to fold it back or a switch. But there is a risk if you fold it back on itself, it can break in there. But it's identifying, it's not any insulating properties. In that case, we'd obviously have to oversleeve it, but we haven't managed to do it on this one. So let's have one more go. So this is the preferred method. So into the body and then just squeeze it down. And then look again, we pull it off but we have got the option to pull against that CPC. I'm gonna try, because you didn't manage to do it, and just to see if we can get it to fail, pull it back on itself uh, completely against itself, and then just pull on that first bit. And we're finding that, again, we didn't manage to make it fail, but that is the chance of which you can get it just to break. So if you look there, we've just got it just to break a little bit at the first point at which it started to break there. So we don't recommend that, do we? The two techniques that we're going for. Alternatively, we could also just pull one of the live conductors, couldn't we, Aaron? So if we wanted to go down and wanted to play it safe, we can just split the center. It says on here, 40 years. I take it you're celebrating a birthday, not a personal one. You're celebrating a factory birthday, is that right? Factory birthday, 40 years of British manufacturing. We're liking to think of this as our gift back to electricians being Earthshow. Oh, right, okay, that's good. And look, we can just pull that conductor. We shouldn't have an issue at all when we pull that one back. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a change from what people are used to, but that's also an easy method of, of doing it as well. Well, what's quite reassuring is we didn't manage to get it to fail, but when we were in the factory, we got it to fail every single time with that 90 bend as well, didn't we? Yeah, if we did the one millimeter one, the actual coating on there, the identifying sleeve is slightly smaller. So if we strip back the one millimeter one, whereas this is 2.5, there's a higher risk of damaging that green yellow if you bend it all the way back on itself. Okay, well, let's have a look at that then. So, so that's that this one. one. Yep, so we're doing it live to the camera effectively. This is in a, 
a one take, so we're still, right. we still don't know which one's Earthshore and which no, one. No, because uh, I think you're going to do something to change that in the future, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to have to put a green wrap or a green reel so that okay. people can easily identify what's what. Is there a chance I might find a golden ticket or a silver or a bronze ticket in there? Do you want to explain that to me, what's happening as this video goes out with cables? Yeah, so celebrating 40 years, we've released a, a series of tickets. There's gold, silver and bronze. They've got different prizes allocated to them. You just have to find it in the middle of a reel. Gold ones are worth a £100 Amazon gift card. Right, OK. Okay, so hopefully we'll unwind these in a minute. So we're going to try this on the slightly smaller one, which is where we had all our failures. And I pull it back 90 degrees against itself, Aaron. And we've managed to survive yet again. See, I, th I think it's my technique. No, I, if I technique. hold mine there, if you let go of the cable, I'll yep. show you exactly what I do. So I do that, and I'm almost bending it right back on it. So. Oh, okay. And that's yeah. how I sort of, and there yeah. you go. Oh, yes. But obviously I'm not an electrician, so that doesn't look like it's an electrician thing to do because you're not doing it like that. No, okay, so a non-electrician manages to do that. So that's just a little bit of advice, really. What we don't want is uh, people to think that there is an issue there. There isn't. If we strip it correctly, it will go in all the techniques we've shown, apart from yours, Aaron. Maybe it's uh, <laughs> it's just an Aaron this thing. Is this is why I make the cable and not install it. Okay. <laughs> now, if you want to know how the original twin and CPC cable was manufactured, this being Earthshore, which hopefully will replace it over time because I can't see a reason why you wouldn't want the protective conductor identified. Check out the video on screen now.